Hello there! Today we will be exploring the loop component, a new feature from Langflow that's very useful for us to process data efficiently. The loop component allows you to uh, iterate through data and with that you can do a lot of different things like uh, you can improve the chunk, you improve the text or you can extract uh, information from the text or sentiment analysis for example but you can do other things so every time you have to process item by item uh, of a list the loop component will be very useful uh, to you. So in this video, we will load data from a CSV file. We will extract some information from each post that we have on this CSV file. Uh, and we extract some uh, information from the text and we will start uh, on Asta so then we can create an agentic rag flow. Uh, this way we will have uh, a full uh, demonstration from the data extraction and uh, an agentic rag flow in the end. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave your ideas in the comment section and let's get started. So let's take a look on the loop component. The loop component expects a data, so here we will load uh, the data that we have. And for each uh, element of the of the list that we are receiving, we will process uh, using this output. After the loop, uh, we will return uh, the result of the loop uh, to this, this input. And in the end, uh, after all the, the items are processed, we need to connect this done output to uh, AstroDB in this case. Uh, we will do that iterating through a file uh, from the Y Combinator. So this is the file that we will use. I will leave the link uh, in the description uh, so you can run on your end. Uh, and we will use this, this raw description to improve the text that we have and to extract some information. Uh, and then we will save the data trust. So for the loop component, we receive this, this uh, file and for each record, we will connect it to the structured component, uh, structured output component. Uh, this structure we will is expecting one input message and a language model and we will have to define uh, the, out the schema of the output. So we, we will format a prompt and then we will ask the, ma the model to extract the information to transform the prompt into a structured uh, data. Uh, with that we will return uh, the data to the loop component and after uh, the, the loop is completed we will save uh, the data on us. Let's do that uh, in fact. We are expecting a data. So to load this CSV file I will use uh, this component CSV. It's on legacy so if it's not uh, showing to you uh, be sure to, to activate the legacy, but the legacy components. Uh, all I have to do is to define uh, the file that I'm receiving and the, the field that we will be using as the text. So uh, I will use the role description field. Uh, with that we have a list of data and then we can connect uh, it to the loop component. So now we have to transform the loop, the, the element of the loop in a prompt and then for that we will use the data to message. Here. So for each item, uh, we will connect uh, the item to the data input from the data message. And here we have a template where we can define uh, how uh, to transform the, the, the row from the file into a prompt. Let me get the... So uh, you can add other information. I'm just saying that this is a startup uh, job post uh, and the information that I have from the file. So I'm, I'm explaining that we have a post title and then here we will have the content of the post. So, okay, now I have a prompt. Now I can configure the structured output. I will add it here, structured output. So for each item uh, from each message, we, we can connect it here. And then we need also to connect one uh, model. So we, I will connect the OpenAI model here. I will I can choose the model that I'm using. In this case, I will keep um, for all mini and I have to define the key. And then uh, next thing is once we have the message in the model, we need to define the schema that we are expecting to have after the, out the structural output runs. So I can ask the model to try to extract the language, the skill, and that's what we will be doing here. So I will fill all the parameters and then uh, I will show that. I defined this structure, you can uh, define your own structure. So I'm asking the model to try to extract the language as mentioned, uh, skills, non technical, like uh, if the. Uh, uh, skills and, uh, and note that uh, I'm asking this for multiple, so I'm expecting an array of languages and skills. 
Uh, I'm asking for some area title, the title from the from the post, the rank, which is in the case the, like the ID of the post, uh, the text, and in the text I'm asking for something different. So I'm not asking just the, the input uh, content, but I'm asking it to uh, the description, a more complete description of the role, and replacing all the abbreviation. So you can use this prompt like to ask the, to the mod to the model to improve the text that we will be storing uh, on Aster. And I'm also asking to have the role description as uh, an element of the output without any changes. So in this way, we can compare uh, the, the role description before uh, the, the, the prompting and after the, the, the process. OK, now that I have uh, the structured component uh, configured, uh, I need to connect the output of, of the structured output to the input of the loop component. So what I would do is this. Okay, so for each element, uh, after the structured output, it will be executed and returned to the loop component. The loop component will then aggregate all the outputs from, from the structured output. And uh, in the end, uh, we will have all the, all the data uh, uh, processed in the done output. Uh, and then we can start uh, this data on Astra. Uh, let me add the Astra component here. So this is what we will be doing. So connecting the done to ingest data on Astra. We need to, to save this data on Aster, so let's create a, uh, a collection. Uh, I'm on Aster, uh, and in other videos I showed how to create a, a, a database. We, what we'll be doing now is to create a collection. So I'm here on Data Explorer, and we will create a collection. Uh, just to simplify our process, I will be using the vectorize uh, function on Astra. The idea is that uh, Astra will handle uh, the, the embedding generation in, this, in the writing and in the read uh, moment. So uh, uh, the, connect, the, the collection will be linked to a model and to an uh, embedding provider, so we don't have to worry about the embedding on the application. So I will be creating the list, I see listing uh, collection. This will be vector enabled, uh, and here I can choose the, the model that I will be using. So in this case, I will use the OpenAI uh, model. I, I, when, I conf when I configure uh, the integration with uh, embedding provider, I need to create some keys, which, is the, which are the API keys that you have, in this case, on, on OpenAI. And uh, you can choose uh, which key you will be using with this collection. And then you can choose uh, the embedding model. Once you have that, you can define the number of dimensions and the similarity metric that you, you are using. I will, I will leave it is as a cosine. With that, we will have uh, a collection uh, connected to the model created on us. Let's wait some seconds and then we proceed. Okay, uh, we can see that the collection is empty. We, we, we haven't loaded any data. Uh, but we can see that this collection is connected to the OpenAI model, texting tree, embedding tree small, uh, the number of dimensions, the, the similarity that we are using, and zero records. So, okay, let's load data to this collection. Back to the learning flow, I will choose the token. Uh, if you don't have a token, you can find the token in the Astro agent. Uh, this button uh, generate uh, token. You can get your token here. I already have my token uh, saved on, on the settings, so I will choose uh, the token. Uh, I have to select the database, let just update uh, the, the list of database, Astra agent, and then we will have the collections, let update the collections, YC listing. And then we have the ingest data. So let's run, uh, and it's interesting to see the loop component in exec under execution. So I'll click on the Astra, and you can see that it is processing uh, item by item. Let's wait some seconds until it finishes. Okay, uh, the process uh, was executed. Uh, before looking on Aster, let's take a look at the done output. So this is the result of the execution of the loop. So for each uh, row that we have in the, on the file, this was the output of the loop component. So we expect to see that uh, started on Aster. Let's take a look in the collection. Okay, so we have the 15 records uh, on Aster, and we can see the JSON here. When we are using the vectorize function, we will see the text on the vectorize uh, field, and we will have all the other information on the metadata. So, for example, in this case, we can see the, all the skills, area, title, and role description stored on the metadata of the, the document. Uh, another 
uh, interesting thing on the vectorize is that you can do a semantic search here on Astra. So let's say that I want to see uh, technical roles in New York, for example. What Astra is doing here is uh, Astra is generating the embedding uh, for this text and doing a semantic search and then we can see that this uh, this job startup uh, converge has a similarity of uh, 069 uh, so it's very uh, interesting for you to understand the quality of your chunks so okay we have the data loaded to close this demo let's create a simple agent reg uh, agent so we can connect to this data so I will be using the agent component Connect it a little bit below. So this agent uh, it expects a chat input. We will connect it here and an output. So we can use the the playground. Uh, we need an API key. Let me choose another, the key the key that I will be using. The model, for example, now I can use a different model to generate uh, the, the, the the final response. For example, and then we have the tools. Uh, so we will be using the AstraDB component as a tool for uh, this agent. So I will drag uh, the AstraDB component again, and I will configure it. Let me choose the token, uh, the database, the collection, which is in this case. YC listing uh, and uh, so uh, uh, at first we don't have the two uh, op the two output here in this component but I have to enable the two mode here in the top so uh, with that it will present this two set and then I can connect uh, Astra to the tools of the agent okay uh, we can configure the tools um, by uh, uh, defining the description that we have. So, for example, we have this, this AstraDB search doc documents and as data frame. So, I don't want to use this as data frame, so I will say do not use. And in this document description, I, I will say find uh, startup job posts. Okay, so it's very important to work on the tool description uh, is based on the description of the tool that the agent will decide to use the tool. So very important to uh, uh, pay attention to the tool description. Then, okay, uh, I have an input, I have an agent and I have a tool. Now I can use uh, this agent in the playground. So I can ask, for example, uh, AI startups looking for a uh, developer so now we are the country we can see that Langflow is, is using the tool uh, it's already run the search documents now the agent the, the model is generating the answer let's take a look at the description so the search queries so the search query in this case was very very uh, was is equal to the text I defined it but the main the main thing about the agent reg flow is that the agent will define the query so if I said something more uh, with more um, text or with something that is not relevant to the question the agent should change the, the query to run to decide which kind of query is more relevant to to the to the needs of the, the of the user so with this AI startups looking for developers uh, uh, the tool returned uh, these four uh, documents and then uh, the model then could generate the final answer to the user so very simple way to to ingest data to improve the data that we just ingested and to use that on an agent QRAG uh, flow. Uh, the idea of this video then was to show how to use the loop component and how to create a simple agent QRAG using the two mode of AstraDB component to create a simple flow with uh, job posts from uh, Y Combinator. Uh, don't forget to leave to like the video, to leave a comment in the comment section, leave uh, what you thought, what need, what other kind of videos are you looking for. Uh, subscribe to the channel, this is very important uh, for us. And uh, stay tuned, we'll see you soon. Bye.